All right, so you guys may or may not know this, but I've wanted Savannah cats since I was in high school. Literally was trying to convince my parents for the longest time, and then you guys may or may not know this, but I have a new neighbor. Yeah, no, you're the new neighbor. <laughs> I am the new neighbor, but we're learning <laughs> Hype House hacks. Do you think I have enough money to sit in this seat? Wait, feel that. That's brand new. Oh, it feels luxury. A housewarming gift. <laughs> it's a Tesla. <laughs> David could never. Wait, what kind of cat is that? This is a Savannah cat. Oh my god. This is Arrow. He's super nice. All he does is cuddle with you. God. He's never growled. He's never hissed. He's never bit. How much did you spend on these cats? This How much was Arrow? 12000 $12,000. You, you want to see the $14,000? Yes, yes, of course I want to see the $14,000 cat. She's not as nice. She a biter? No, she's just a run away from you. We call her Squeak, but Squeak. her real name's Iris. Are they siblings or no? No. Oh my god. Get it. <laughs> Not Alex and Cover's cats fighting. This is going straight on TikTok room. You can tell when they're fighting when they when they're vocal about it. They're playing right now. When they're not yelling or screaming, they're playing. She's trying to get an A1. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at how she's getting low. Mm -hmm. she's definitely a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so which one do I get to keep? <laughs> Anytime you. Here too. There's one bigger one. What the he's fuck? He's younger and he's bigger because he's more wild. Whose is it? Uh, Thomas. Is. Thomas has a girl and a guy. They look a lot different than ours. Wow, that was a good hit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Try and fuck. Good morning, ladies and genitals, or should I say afternoon because it's literally 2 p.m. And you know what time of day it is? It's time to go get some fucking filler and Botox. Yes, we are going to West Side Aesthetic today, getting some jaw filler, some chin filler, some Botox in the forehead. I'm not ashamed of getting Botox and filler. I'm always one to be like, it's your body, do whatever the fuck you want to it. I want a Dolan twin jaw. I want to look like a real housewife of Beverly Hills. Mario's coming with me for moral support. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Needles terrify me. I'm also very excited because I'm gonna be fucking hot. Mario, do you want to drive? No. Please. No. Please. No. Fine. <sighs> He's a terrible friend. We're here. We made it. Why am I sitting on your seat? <laughs> I know, you're the one sitting in the chair. We're filling out paperwork right now, and then we're shoving some needles in our fucking face. Well, in my fucking face. <laughs> I just took before photos, and I'm honestly so fucking excited because I just want like a snatched ass, Dolan twin ass, fucking call me a fucking bicycle seat, call me fucking handsome Squidward ass jaw. I don't know if you guys know this, but I did in fact get jaw filler and chin filler before at a different place. So it's been over a year now, so I'm assuming it's like dissolved and not there anymore, and just like the to my body, so my lips are crusty. My face is crusty. Crust boots. I like forehead Botox because one, it stops or like blocks oil productions. Jose Collins, you like to comment on every fucking video of mine and say greasy forehead. So thank you for being the reason why now I get Botox in my forehead. A lot of your fave influencers that like to say they don't have any Botox or filler love to come here. <laughs> I bought some clothing the other day at Buffalo Exchange and the girl left on the fucking center tag But Ari, this is growing up in Vegas, you know, <laughs> knows exactly how to steal clothing, so <laughs> oh, Literally just getting this off. Did you burn yourself? Of course I did. Oh, oh fuck. Only for you. Don't Throwing it back to the olden days, you know, growing up in Las Vegas, you know, you gotta make ends meet. Don't breathe, I did mine. Oh my god, the fire, the fire, it's the fire for me, babe. Oh my god. How often would you say you did this back in the day? <laughs> Too many times. <laughs> Vegas teens. <laughs> Dead ass. Ready? The other day, Alex Warren asked me, he's like, So, what are your vlogs like? <laughs> You're buying a McLaren right now, and we're stealing the public chain. And that's called magic, people. Holy fuck, what in the David Blaine? Wow! I don't have to go back to Buffalo Exchange! What's up, you guys? Before things get too hectic in today's vlog, which I promise you they will, I feel it's only right we give a shout out to today's sponsor. And if you're wondering who that is, it is Green Goo Helps. Let me tell you a little bit about Green Goo Helps. They are a women owned, family owned business, and I think that is the most woke thing you can possibly find in 2020. It's all about empowering and supporting those family owned businesses, women owned businesses. Wake up and smell the roses. We don't like corporations. The proof is in the pudding. We've seen the scandals. If you're interested in any of these products, I do have my own code, Amari20 for 20% off. If you're wondering what these products are, let me show you. They sent me a first aid cream. They sent me a sunscreen. They sent me an aloe vera skin repair style. Think like Elmer's blue stick, but literally like a ton of aloe vera, so pop off. My favorite, favorite one that I will be using pretty much the rest of my life. The Green Goo Hand Sanitizer. Obviously we're in the middle of a pandemic and it's not over. And why not just carry it around with you at all times? Whatever you're going, even now, obviously you're allowed to go to certain places like dinners, grocery stores, like restaurants, everything like, 
that it's still among us so why not like take the safe route and just take the safe route for the rest of your life this hand sanitizer is unscented and i hate scented hand sanitizer if i wanted some peanut butter and jelly smelling hand sanitizer i take master bath and body works which i don't do their products are organic botanically plant-based created which i think is so awesome so we might as well do it right so like i said if you're interested in any of these products i have my own code there's a link in the description you can check out thank you so much green goo for sponsoring this video i love you guys so much amari Back to you in the studio. It's on the menu of random antics that you probably should never fucking try at home, but we are in fact trying at home. We have the Mega Mouse Trap Lego Maze. Dun, dun, dun. We've got an audience, Hunter, set it all up. We've got Jordan, we've got Tana, we've got Yain, we've got Ashley, we've got Me Too, we've got Mario, we've got Ari, and then we've got our contestant today. What's up, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, Zach, bad Zach, whatever you wanna call me. Um, and today, and I'm fucking horrified. I don't really know why I thought it was a good idea. I'm not doing it, no one else is doing it. Zach is just doing it in the backyard. I'm nervous. <laughs> Let me just show you guys what we're working with here. We're working with today as well. You're gonna have to like let me know like if I'm going too far. Like, no, 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 right, right, right. Okay, okay. I'm so excited. I love seeing people get hurt for some reason. It's really funny as fuck. So in the comments below, I want to get a nice little pray for Zach Clayton. So you're gonna get a nice little time lapse. Yo, this is some reality house type shit. JC, Ian, if you're watching, y'all better love it. Hey, season three, please give me a redemption shot. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for waking me up for another beautiful day on this planet that you like to call Earth. Thank you for surrounding me with these amazing people. Thank you for allowing Tana Mojo and Jake Paul to date and marry. Pay for this house. Pay for this house and pay for the rent for this house. Keep the lights on in this baby. And that's all I really got to say. Just keep me safe through this moment. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Please don't look at my toes. Okay. You know there's like some. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, oh, the way you just avoided that is insane. Yeah, and you, you're off the track. No, you're, you're off, off the track. track. Back in. My friends are masochists. Oh! 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 Oh. You did fail the challenge, and you are going to be in tonight's Elimination Challenge Reality House Season 3! <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Seat Geek. Yo, I kind of want to do it. <laughs> Me liking pain and watching my pain. Like, no. They really should put this like on Reality House, though. Like, some challenge like this would slay on Reality House, and I think I would slay it, so. How do your feet Dude, feel? my fucking big toe. Oh, shit. I don't feel pain! No. Ah, ah. Yeah, it's like, where's Alex? What is wrong with men? Uh, I just get it so it goes on my ear. <laughs> <gasps> men are stupid. Wait, are you going to do it on your ear? Zach, I'm so proud of you for everything you do. Constantly raising the bar for all idiots around the world. Like, of course, you know, I gotta, <laughs> someone's gotta do it. <laughs> Honestly, that was fucking fire.